Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Now let us solve today's TC using Python programming language. The program I have to accept integer n, n integers, q and q number of queries as input. For each query, it consists of two integers x and y, denoting the starting and ending positions. A character L or R and you have to shift the sub arrays element by one position left or right based on the character. Finally, we have to print the modified array after each query. Now, let us consider our test case. So this is our first test case here n is equal to 10 and we are having 10 integers here q is equal to 3 and we are having 3 queries here. q is equal to 3 and we are having 3 queries here. So first let us consider our first query 7, 10 and L. So L represents left. So you have to left shift the elements. So first let us write the given array elements here. And let us write the index at the below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is the elements. So now we have to left shift the elements from 7 to 10. So the integers from 7 to 10 should be left shifted so let us copy the element and paste it here so 9 8 7 6 so left shift is nothing but the first element 9 goes to the last so 8 7 6 and 9 will be the integer output so let us copy this and paste it here And now this integer list will be the output for the first query. So let us copy and paste it here. Now let us consider our second query in this test case. So the second query is 3 to 8 and right shift. So the integers from 3 to 8 should be right shifted. So let us copy the integers and paste it here. So 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 8, 7. So right shift is nothing but the element at the last comes to the first. So 7 will be coming first and following the elements. So 7, 3, 4, 5, 10, 8. So this is the these are the integers after right shift. So let us copy this and paste it in the position 3 to 8. So let us paste it here. So this integer array, this integer list will be the output for the second query. Now let us consider for our third query. That is a integer list 2 to 4, right shift. So from 2 to 4, let us copy the element and paste it here. That is 2, 7 and 3. So the right shift means 3 will be coming first. So 3, 2, 7.
so this will be the integer so let us copy and paste it here and let us copy the array integers and paste it here this will be the output for the third query now all together this will be the required output for our given test case now let us implement our logic using python 3 so first let us get the input n from the user and then let us get the integer q as input from the user and then input list sorry input list and then integer q as input from the user now let us iterate over the for loop for ctr which ranges from 0 to q and let us get the input x y and direction that is left shift or right shift so direction equal to input we have to use split function here for getting the input now after getting the input we will be converting x and y to integers so convert x and y to integers now after converting x and y to integer we have to decrement the value of x by 1 decrement the value of x by 1 so after decrementing the value of x by 1 let us pass our condition if direction equal to equal to r that is right shift means we have to make changes in the integer array so for that input list of x plus 1 to y and input list of x to y minus 1 so comma this is nothing but uh, now let us consider this query 6 to 9 right shift so the first element will be presented at the last so for this we will be doing input list of x comma input list of x that is uh, equal to the input list of y minus 1 so this will be the condition if direction is equal to equal to r that is right in the else part input list of now let us copy and paste this here little changes so input list of x to y not x plus 1 x to y minus 1 and input list of y minus 1 which is equal to input list of x plus 1 to y and input list of x this else condition will work in the case direction equal to equal to left and finally we have to print the input list as our output print input list so this will be the required code for today's dc